I've had the opposite approach. They say, I'm going to buy an ad for you, but can you still cover me? Is that okay? It, it, I, I've had the opposite. I've never had anyone hold it over a head that you need to cover this. And um, should that arise, we also offer, if you're interested, <laughs> we offer if you like now. The, <laughs> the ability to uh, we'll write a post for money. I mean, with that, that we would clearly indicate is a sponsored post. Right. And again, so, it was something that we delayed on, but, but found its value, and obviously it's a growing trend of sponsored mm -hmm. posts. Also. So, but so you, so you, as the journalists, are writing it, but you're just labeling it that way as a sponsored post. Yeah. Um, we talked also that probably being a, 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 a role of an ad salesperson, but we haven't found the right person yet. Um, huh. So that's the value, right? I mean, if you're uh -huh. not the right person, you don't have the right person, you are the right person. Right. Um, so yeah, ad packages that um, we have had people come to us increasingly now, um, which helps it. But as we, if we really want to grow, obviously we need to hit the streets, um, and so we uh, try to move in that direction. Um, but absolutely, you know, by some some inaction, we've been I think delayed um, trying to trying to fill this editorial uh, definition. Um, yeah. Well, so I think um, as we learned very early on, um, our roadmap has been far extended past what we thought it would be. We thought we'd be making money in the third month, um, and it took much longer than that. By the first bar camp. We launched in February, and we said, by the first bar camp, we should have So, you know, come, come this January, um, I mean, we, we, all, we all freelance to start. Um, you guys are taking full-time jobs. I'm still freelancing. Um, it's tough. It really is to, to run a startup and and, um, and and keep things going financially for yourself. Um, so you know, I think there was a particular night where in January we was hanging out at Chris's house um, in his living room with his with his girlfriend, and uh, we were talking about business. And I, I came away from it pretty excited. And Chris's girlfriend. The next day, I was like, you shouldn't hang out with Brian anymore. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's really bad. And, uh, yeah, both Brian and I thought that was a really invigorating night. Um, and we, you know, all right, we had a kind of understanding. Brian and I were really hurting on funds, you know, trying to string together a freelance career and build a startup. Um, while we did it, you know, we were getting each other, each other getting uh, each other charged up about it. Um, and yeah, my, my girlfriend next day was like, like it's, it's bad. For you. Like, it's bad for you. <laughs> just really depressing. Um, and so uh, that's obviously a real crystallized just how bleak things may have gotten. Yeah, sure. Are you still with the same girlfriend? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she's very understanding in a lot of ways. Uh, uh, a lot right, they say don't hang out with her, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, the, the, the lesson that, we're, that we certainly want to impart, um, that yeah, take whatever your business plan is, particularly in the media startup ecosystem of 2010, maybe double it, maybe triple it. Um, maybe. Just, yeah. I mean, we sure thought, and, and we don't have 45 years of, of starting up news online news sites because it hasn't been that long of a history. So we're in a place where there obviously isn't a roadmap. There isn't a build an online hyper local news site for dummies yet um, because if really anything that came out that way would probably be inauthentic because uh, we're still trying to figure out what that looks like. So um, we looked at any comparative site we could. We spoke to a lot of smart people. It certainly wasn't a business plan we threw together. I, I, I'm willing to say we put a lot of effort into it. Um, and, and we thought we had really conservative goals. Really like our business plan. Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, and as, as anyone who's ever done a business plan knows, it's obviously an exact science. Um, definitely not the VC folks who say, you know, I don't care about your business plan, I care about the person who's making the business plan. So that's the most important part. But there's a lesson here for your own expectations. If you're planning on leaving a job, um, if you're planning on doing it while you're working a job, just keep in mind that it's going to be a whole lot slower process than you probably expect.